Get full access to over 15,000 episodes with your free trial. My Outdoor TV. Sign up today. Tanzania is without question one of Africa's most storied safari destinations. Her diversity of habitat and game makes this East African country an irresistible temptation to those of us that search for old, wild, and classic Africa. Eduardo Negretti is just such a hunter, and today he joins veteran, professional hunter, and owner of Runwood Game Safaris, Harpreet Brar, for the first leg of an epic full bag safari. Harpreet controls some of the finest hunting blocks in this vast country, and one of the joys of Tanzania safaris is the travel between hunting blocks that offer varying cover types, as well as different game species unique to that area. Cape Buffalo, Leopard, and Plains game are all on deck as we head to Tanzania. Welcome to Dallas Safari Club's Tracks Across Africa. Watch out! A big tom leopard was one of client Eduardo Negretti's primary goals of this safari. Successful leopard hunting means baiting across a wide area in hopes of luring a big male onto the bait and at a place of your choosing. And professional hunter Harpreet Brar's game-rich Maasai land concession makes the job of securing bait both pleasurable and practical. So this is our first morning morning in Lobo here. Um, first thing on the agenda this morning is Buffalo, so we've come to this Korongo, this thicket where they like to hang out. It's a place where you find quite a few bulls, so hopefully we'll get lucky. We heard the expert, so we'll just follow the leader.
The Hornady GMX bullet has long been one of my go-to bullets and one I've used on a wide variety of big game around the world. Hornady has loaded the deep penetrating GMX bullet into their new Outfitter ammunition line, a rugged new addition to the Hornady brand that is making big noise in the hunting world. The new Outfitter ammunition features a nickel-plated case, which eliminates tarnish and corrosion. A real bonus of the Outfitter ammunition line are the sealed primer and case mounts, something that means a lot to those of us who hunt swamps, rainforest, or anywhere where humidity and wet conditions are the rule. The Hornady GMX is a monolithic copper alloy solid that features a polymer tip which allows for deep penetration up to 30 inches with high weight retention and great terminal performance. Need more good news? Easy. The Hornady Outfitter ammunition is available in classic calibers from the 243 up to the 375 Ruger and the 375 H and H. So Eduardo, these droppings, we've been on the track for like an hour now. And the last droppings we saw, uh, they're pretty, they're cold, they're pretty old. I think they're probably about three, four hours. So I think it's better we cut our losses on these buffalo here and we concentrate on kudu. And then tomorrow morning, we'll try to see if we can pick up a fresher set of tracks. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Not every track followed on safari will lead to a shooting opportunity, and an experienced PH like Harpreet will often pull off one track and open up an opportunity for something else to pop up, so to speak. Africa has a wonderful habit of dropping unexpected prizes into the laps of hunters willing to walk the miles and keep their eyes open. Good shot, good. Excellent shot, man. Yeah. Good job. Kudos. Yeah. For me, is are more dangerous than any other animal. That's true. Look, no, look huh? my hand is shaking. Yeah. It's the most adrenaline, I tell you. That was good. We <laughs> waited for him. Huh? No, you saw him perfectly. As Eduardo was saying, I always make more mistakes with kudus than with any other animal. Yeah. This one you whacked him. Yeah, I could hear, you could hear the bullet hit. Eh? Yeah. And, and, and something going like yeah. that. Eduardo, like the majority of hunters, including myself, feel an extra dose of nerves when the majestic curling horns of a big kudu bull are drifting in and out of the scope. A big kudu bull is one of East Africa's most coveted prizes and the one Harpreet and Eduardo are tracking through the screen of thick thorn bush is carrying enough curl and length of horn to raise the heartbeat of any hunter, even one as experienced in this game as Eduardo. The shot fell and sounded solid. The blood spore looked promising, but you never feel relieved until that magic moment when those beautiful curling horns are finally in your hands. Well, Eduardo, it's been quite a morning. We've shot a nice, magnificent greater kudu. Oh, it's been the three-star day for us. Yeah. It's been wonderful for Preet. 
couldn't ask for anything better. No, for sure. Yeah, but kudos are never easy, so. No, the great, that's why they call them the great ghost. Congrats. Thank you very much, Arpreet. Pleasure. Wonderful. This is a, a bait that we had last safari and there was a big male leopard feeding here. So we just shot that kudu about an hour and a half back. So we're gonna bait it and hopefully this leopard comes. It's a really good place. It's in the bush and there's a game trail right here. So it's ideal. So this is the first bait we checked this morning and it's, uh, as you can see, it's been hit by a really big leopard. A lot of buffalo tracks, a lot of game in this area. What's happening, young man? We're putting up a bait. How many? One. How many have we done? Uh, we've done zero. He's our first. How many, okay? No. How can this be our first? First on the day. Very well made up so that they can hide. This so that's, what, that's why they come here. Huh? Yeah. Nobody can bother them. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, it is. It's a good habitat.
Dallas Safari Club's Tracks Across Africa has been presented by DSC, Conservation Through Hunting, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Trigicon, Brilliant Aiming Solutions, Dakota, Deadly Sophistication, The Wildlife Gallery Taxidermy Studio, Ripcord, Rescue Travel Insurance, and by Remington, a new era. Eduardo had two bullets in his bull, but typical of his breed, the buffalo immediately headed into heavy cover. At this point, dangerous game takes on a very literal meaning, as many professionals rate a wounded buffalo as Africa's most lethal follow-up. You must assume that the tracks you will now follow will lead you to a close and extremely dangerous encounter with an enraged and possibly highly mobile animal. Charges, although rare, do happen, and it is a possibility you must mentally prepare yourself to face. The fairly open country and a series of elevated lookout spots was a definite advantage as the hunters tried to locate the bull before it spotted them. That buffalo is a beautiful buffalo. Look at these bosses here. Finding the buffalo down and clearly out allowed everyone in the follow-up to enjoy the feeling of fading tension that accompanies such moments on safari. Eduardo's shots have been perfectly placed, but 1,600 pounds of muscle, bone, and determination had pushed the buffalo until he literally died on his feet. Smiles now replaced the worried expressions worn when the outcome was still unknown. Eduardo took the time to admire the beautiful bull that will live forever in his memory and eventually find a place of honor in his home. With the buffalo headed for the skinning shed, Harpreet now shifted gears back to the leopard hunt and the daily chore of checking baits, always hoping for a sign that a big tom had claimed the meat for his own. And trust me, 
the adrenaline really kicks in when you walk into a bait that has been hit and shows every sign that a big male has fed. Oh, we have a bait that has been eaten completely by him. It's like a very big leopard. So we're gonna have to shoot something to restock. So we're gonna have two or three leopards feeding already on the baits. It sounds very promising. Not only had this particular bait been hit, but the images on the trail cam showed the leopard to be a fully mature tom. As the cat had fed heavily, Harpreet wisely decided to hedge his bets by hanging a large zebra leg in hopes of keeping the big cat's attention and appetite focused on a return trip to the tree. There are no sure bets when it comes to the great spotted cat of Africa, but Eduardo was now dealing with a hand heavily stacked in his favor. See, put a piece of meat in the other branch. We hope you've enjoyed this free episode. To continue watching, start your free trial now.